An estimated 1 million spectators were at today's marathon. Our Cam Jandro spoke with some of those cheering on the runners from the sidelines. He has that part of the story. Tens of thousands of runners hit the streets of Hopkinton Monday to begin the 26 mile race and millions lined the course for something they say is special to watch. This is, uh, this is super special. So we see lots of teams start you know, practicing in April for this thing and the teams are just average runners. But the camaraderie and what the cause is is just so important to them. So we get caught up in that. It's really fun for us to see it. Fans from all over the world lined the fences as 99 different countries were represented at this year's race. <laughs> Former Worcester News Tonight reporter Tim McCone laced up his sneakers for his first Boston Marathon. McCone is running for the Celtic Shamrock Foundation and says this was an opportunity he couldn't pass up. You know, growing up in Worcester, I've been watching the marathon my whole life. It's always been a bucket list uh, event for me. And so this year I had the opportunity to run for a foundation, kill two birds with one stone, right? Cross something off the bucket list and then also uh, help out the community. So it was a no-brainer. Spectators and runners say there is a lot more to the marathon than the race itself. I think that, like I said, teaching the kids how, how to, number one, volunteer their time, but also that, you know, things are more important than, uh, you know, showing up and going to recess and the baseball game or whatever. Now, for the last 120 plus years, the Boston Marathon has been taking over the streets here in Massachusetts. Here in Hopkinton, residents say it's a tradition they love and they don't want to see go away anytime soon. In Hopkinton, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News.